morning chaps. Saturday morning and it's the 1st of October. Ooh, winter's coming. Um, I'm going to repeat exactly the same test as I did on Wednesday three days ago. So I'm using the same soap, I'm using uh, cellar and it's uh, one of my favourites. I'm going to quickly lather up and I'm going to perform a slightly more interesting test. I've got two razors which were honed as of Wednesday and tested as of Wednesday on natural stones. Um, both are Yuri's, one is a Saga and one is a console. And um, I believe I'm right in saying that the Saga was touched up by our good friend uh, Gary and uh, that was on probably one of his magical natural stones. It wasn't a Jaina, I know. Can't remember what it was. Um, probably a cotical of some sort. Anyway, that's still a natural stone. Um, mine, the console, was uh, on uh, a Jainet. Both were yeah, okay. I mean, no, both good shades, but not perfect. They certainly didn't beat uh, my Philharmonica, uh, which was um, the game from Gary, but that was on a concave edge. So let's see today what happens because I've put both the Uri's um, onto a maximum possible synthetic stone. They've gone through the full range, well, full range, 5K, uh, 8K, 10K, 12K, 20K. So this is the console. It's now sporting a 20K uh, edge. So in theory, we'll see what this is like compared with what it was on Wednesday with the JNAT edge. Let's try a little pass and see what happens. Like a laser. Now, I would honestly say, for me, synthetics give a better edge. Probably only when they're really refined. I'd actually put a very slight nick in this blade through being an idiot. And uh, I really gave this one a very, very, very hard testing on the stones. Yeah, this is noticeably better than a Jane, definitely. There again, these are all subjective. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a scientist, as I've said before. So I'm just saying what I find. Now, this is this wonderful saga. Now, the saga's got the kinky handle. Now, actually, it really does work very, very well. The only thing is, it's got an enormously long tang. And being a monkey tail, when you go to strop it, the monkey tail just sticks up a little bit too proud but that's up to the individual holding it i suspect so say uh, for me um for normal uh, position it's absolutely fine look at that beautiful monkey tail how it grips your little finger i like that anyway let's see how the edge gives on it this is i say with a a 20k Yeah, superb. I still find the monkey tail is very firm, but it's a bit long. Yeah, look at that. Just the weight of the razor. Also, this saga has the advantage of having a, a French point. So we're getting into little awkward spots. This is a very good blade. You can hear it carving away. Now these are a hollow ground being Yuri's, as you can see. They're beautifully hollow ground. Um, I think you've got a, a long way to go to beat an extra hollow. 
and uh, most of the Philharmonicas I normally prefer are extra hollow but if you can just make out that is still a beautiful hollow and of course I'm a bit of a traditionalist I suppose but I rather prefer the full mirror finish. If I wanted a, a commando knife I'd get a black commando knife. I know it supposedly helps with corrosion but if you look after your razors I can't see how corrosion is a problem. Uh, but anyway, again, it's a personal view. Yep, very nice. Very nice indeed. Yep, can't fault that. What I will do is I'm now use the Philharmonica because that's my test bed. If any razor can beat a Torino, then you've got the, probably the best in the world. So let's let's see how uh, as a comparison. Oh, nice. Yep. Yep, very nice indeed. But to say the uh, the Phillies are very special steel. Uh, I don't think it's fair to compare them to a modern steel. No, the fill is still better. As the same in the last test. The only thing I would say is a little unfair as this particular filly, this uh, Chorino, actually has uh, a concave bevel. And it does seem to give a smoother, sharper cut. But against normal razors, the Uris are superb. Just no other word for it. They're absolutely superb. The only thing I would say is um, I rather prefer old steel, but then I'm old. Like to like. So, I'm not going to make any firm conclusions on this uh, little short video. All I would say is, um, for my money, I would still say that a Yuri with a synthetic edge is virtually as good as the best you can get, which is a Philharmonica um, with a concave. However, in saying that, I treated them exactly the same. Excuse me while I very carefully put them down. I treated them exactly the same. They've had exactly the same stropping. They've had exactly the same treatment by me. Exactly the same <laughs> lather as last time on Wednesday. So I think it's a reasonably fair test. For me, on edges, I'd go for synthetic. Um, in an ideal world, I, I don't think I've got the skill, but I would probably put these to a concave bevel because the best shave I've ever had is with this Philly Torino, and that has a concave bevel. However, on that happy note, I just uh, flash my triumvirates of razors. There's the Saga, which I say is a really, really exciting razor. It's got a beautiful feel to it. Very nice, very long monkey tail. As you can see, look at that. <laughs> um, the console is a classic, absolute classic. You can't fault it in any way. It's probably the best commercially made custom rays that you can get, in my opinion. And the unspeakably brilliant Chirino, which being a filly is, well, just a filly, so you can't beat it. On that happy note, gentlemen, I'm gonna have a proper trim up now with this. This is my luxury Saturday shave. So if you don't mind, I shall um, attack my face uh, with this little beauty. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this may have been useful. This is not a, an orthodox test in any way, this is a subjective test. But for me, if you really want my opinion, which you probably don't, do try a filly with a concave bevel. But I would still say if you want probably the best new razor money can buy, go for a Yuri. See ya, bye.